Hello everyone, I'm Meg and welcome to this week's grade 3 to 7 online lesson. So before we go to worship and the lesson with Steph, let's all pray together. Hello Father God, thank you so much that we can learn more about you today Lord. I want to ask that you open up our hearts and your mind for the message Lord. I want to ask that you fill us with your love and your peace and your joy in this coming week that we can spread it to the people of this world. Amen. Hi guys, today we are going to talk about why it's so important to build your life on a good foundation. What foundations do you choose to build your life on? Well, here are some pictures of famous old buildings that are still standing today. Why do you think that these buildings are still able to stand to this day? That's right, they've got really strong, good foundations. Today we are going to look at the parable of the two builders found in Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 to 27. This parable is the conclusion of the Sermon on the Mount, the best sermon ever given. He ends it with a warning and a request. A request to build our lives on the teachings of God and a warning that not doing so or merely knowing his teachings and not living them out will end in ruin and everything will come crashing down. So why don't you guys follow along with me as I read it to you. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, 
and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. Here's a clip of a brilliant example of this verse on display from a Marvel movie. The damage is not too bad. As long as the foundations are still strong, we can rebuild this place. It will become a haven for all peoples and aliens of the universe. Now nah, those foundations are gone, sorry. Jesus compares the person who builds upon the rock to someone who hears his words and puts them into practice. This same story in Luke chapter 6 verse 48 talks about the building on the rock like digging deep into it. So being firmly rooted on the rock. Do you guys remember who is described as the rock? As the stone that the builders rejected, who became the cornerstone? It's in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 7. Let me read it for you guys. Now to you who believe, this stone is precious. But to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. That's right, it's Christ. This passage is encouraging us to build our lives on Christ. And it shows that if we truly do that, the proof will be shown in doing and living out his teachings and beliefs. Hearing and believing isn't enough because these will be firmly tested in the world. We need to live out these beliefs. Why don't we pray together now? Lord Jesus, thank you so much for your guidance. Thank you for your assurance. Thank you that you are always with us and helping us to navigate through this life and that we can do this all with you by our side. Please help us to do that this week. Amen. Thanks, guys. Back to you, Meg. Thank you so much, Dave. That was great. So that's all that we have for you guys today. I want to challenge you guys to go out this week and share the gospel just by doing one act of kindness to a stranger. Yeah, enjoy your week and I hope to see you guys next week.